Budgeting is not about restrictions. It's about creating more freedom in your life. It's about creating a little extra room in your finances so you can make smart decisions with your money. By doing this, you feel more in control, less stressed, more confident, and find more money that you never thought that you had to spend on things that you actually want. That is what you get when you successfully create and work through a budget. Budgeting for the first time can be so stressful. Where do you start? What do you do? And when do you even do it? Okay, take a deep breath. No, seriously, take a deep breath with me. One more time and do it like you mean it, please. Now I'll have to admit that I'm probably the poster child for how successful you can be if you have a budget. I used one to help me pay off $82,000 in debt. I used one to help save up six months worth of expenses in less than a year. I still use one even though I'm out of debt just to save 50 to 60% of my income every single month. Something that I hear all the time is, but hey Jared, um, my mom told me that I need to make more money before I start budgeting. Look, I love your mom. She is an absolute sweetheart, but she's also a dirty liar. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do to start budgeting as a beginner to eventually become a money wizard, like that Harry Potty wizard guy. Jared, what? It's Harry Potter. Duh! Hey, I'm Jared from Debt Free Blueprint where I show intelligent people like you how to get out of debt and create freedom through your finances using the Debt Free Blueprint. Smash that thumbs up button and leave a comment down below asking me any additional questions that you have surround budgeting your money. If you want more personal finance videos just like this one, then hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so YouTube knows to deliver them to you. Now, I am not saying that you should completely stop trying to pursue more money at the same time that you are learning how to budget. I actually Actually think you should do both but the problem is that in our brains it's always one or the other and most of the time we focus on the more money part since we know this to be true I want you to prioritize how to budget before anything because honestly how do you know how much money that you actually need to make if you don't even know how much you spend and where it's going every single month if you don't know how to budget and manage your money then you're going to be just as broke once you start making more money how often do you drive somewhere out of state without a map or without some sort of navigation. You probably don't, because if you did, then you'd head in the general direction of your destination, but you'd constantly get lost and have to stop to ask for directions. The most important reason to have a budget is that it tells your money where to go every single month. It's like the money roadmap that helps you get from point A to point B in the most efficient and effective way possible. The best time to start making a budget was yesterday, so... Yeah, you already missed out on that time. So the second best time is today. Don't wait for the perfect time to start this process. Instead of finding a reason not to work on this, I want you to make it make time and to find a reason to begin today. If you're in the middle of the month, then that's okay. Start setting up your budget for next month. In the meantime, try to cut your expenses in the current month as well. Next, you're gonna need to decide which budgeting method is good for you. The way to determine this will be based on how you get paid. Don't worry about figuring out your expenses yet. The point of this step is to become familiar with the two different methods. Methods. If you get paid on a consistent basis and your paycheck amount is exactly the same every month, then you want to use a zero-based budget. A zero-based budget directs you to budget every single dollar of your income before the month even starts. That way, all of your money is accounted for and has a place to go. Zero money should be left over in your plan. If your paycheck amounts have some sort of variability, then your best option will be an irregular income budget. An irregular income budget has you list out all of your expenses for the month based on your priority. So your basic needs like housing, food, transportation would be at the top of the priority. As you make money throughout the month, you'll spend that money starting with the highest priority items, housing, food, transportation, to the lowest priority, eating out, video games, clothes, a new television, a new puppy. Since you don't know exactly how much money you'll make, you want to use your average take-home pay over the past couple of months as a starting point. Now let's figure out why you want to start budgeting. Setting up a goal will help you determine how to set up your budget and where you plan to spend your money. If you're trying to pay off debt, then you'll need to have a little bit of money left over to go towards the extra debt payments to get them paid off sooner. If you're trying to save up for something specific or invest more for retirement, then you'll need to have 
some money left over in your budget to put towards those particular things. If you were just trying to get a handle on your money situation, then we'll need to just make sure that all of your normal expenses are covered. Another reason that this is an important step is because it'll ensure that there's a reward or outcome tied to the monthly management of your budget. If you want to start telling your money where to go, then you need to know how much you have to work with. Take some time to list out every source of income that you expect to have every month. If you get a bonus check every quarter, then you'll account for that in the month that it's actually received. For now, just stick with how much you'll receive on a consistent basis, your base pay. If you have some sort of side hustle, then you'll also want to include that income in this area as well. If you're going to be completing an irregular income budget, then you'll want to use your average take home pay over the past couple of months as your starting point. Now it's time to list out some of your basic expenses. I created something that I call the hierarchy of expenses that might help you work through this process. I'll throw a link in the description for you to get access to it. You first want to start accounting for the expenses that cover your basic needs. Think of things that you need to survive, keep you safe, and earn more money. Things that if you don't do them, then your life will not be able to function properly. After you have those listed out, you're going to want to add the minimum payments on all of your debts. I know this stings just a little bit, but it has to be made a priority. You need to at least keep your head above water with all of your basic debt. So expenses that will go in this area are things like housing, utilities, food, transportation, car insurance, gas, and like I said, minimum payments on your debts. As you list each one, start adding numbers to the expenses. If you really don't know how much, then pull up an online bank statement to try to get a good idea of how much you spend on each of these expenses. If you still don't know, then give it your best guess. Any reasonable number is better than zero no number at all. Next, you'll need to list out all of your optional expenses. This is where you'll use your goals to help direct where you budget the rest of your money. Now, it can get really squirrely once you get to this part, so be very careful with what you decide to budget in this expense area. If you decide that paying off debt is a high priority, then budget some extra money towards that. If you're trying to save up for the down payment on a house, then put that in here. If you need to start building your emergency fund, then budget for that right in this area. I made a few emergency fund videos that I'll link in the description for you to check out after this video if you need help in that area. For most of us, there are things that we can live without but benefit us quite a bit, kind of like the internet. But keep in mind that if you think that having the internet is more important than we'll say budgeting for clothes, then you wanna make sure that it's, on a, that it's a higher priority in your budget. Don't be afraid to add things to your budget that you value. Just because I don't budget for cable television doesn't mean that you shouldn't if you get value from it. As long as you're creating your budget with your goal in mind, then don't apologize for it. As you're adding more items to your budget, deduct those expenses from your income. Keep an eye on how much you have left after adding each expense, so it helps you decide if budgeting for that item is important or not. Making sure that all of your expenses are accounted for every time you make a purchase is going to help keep you on track and informed when it comes to how much you have left to spend in each budgeting category. Keep Keeping up on your budget is going to be just as important as creating your budget if you truly want to be successful. Making sure that all of your expenses are accounted for every time you make a purchase is going to help keep you on track and informed when it comes to how much you have left to spend in each budgeting category as the month goes on. I've personally found success by picking one day per week to review my budget and make any adjustments that are needed. My day is Sundays, which is right at the end of the current week and right before the next week starts. If you are in a relationship, then having your significant other on hand to review everything is going to help you be successful. You both need to be on the same page with how much you have to spend for the remainder of the month. I'm not married and I don't have a girlfriend right now, so my budget reviews kind of look like this. Um, Jared, party of one? Jared! Party of one. Don't be scared to adjust your budget in the middle of the month. If you're doing this for the first time, then you will get a lot of things wrong, and that is absolutely okay, because none of us are good at anything when we do it for the first time. Based on myself and the people that I've worked with, worked with, I found that it usually takes between two to four months of budgeting until you, until you feel pretty comfortable and confident. Just make sure that you don't allow those early mistakes to stop you from continuing to create 
create and work through your budget. For example, if you notice that you spent too much on food leading up to this point, then you'll need to readjust how much you spend for the rest of the month. You can do that by taking some of the budgeted money from other categories and moving it towards your food budget because you have to eat, folks. Should you budget with a spreadsheet or use budgeting software? You really can't go wrong with either one. You can successfully budget as a beginner with both tools. I always recommend that you budget with a spreadsheet if you're starting this for the first time. After about the second month, you can move on to budgeting software if you want. I started out with a, a spreadsheet, then moved on to budgeting software, which is what I use today. I'll throw links to a bunch of budgeting resources down below in the description for you. Leave a comment down below with any questions you have when it comes to budgeting that I haven't covered in this video or that you want me to go into a little bit more detail about. If you need some extra help in the area of getting your money in order, then sign up to get on the money management course waiting list where I teach you about budgeting and all things money. Link is in the description. Make sure to smash that thumbs up button and pick up your free copy of the debt free prep work workbook. Bah. <laughs> Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to get more personal finance videos just like this so we can start getting you to a point where you are financially free. I'll see you in the next one, friends. Adios.